We're doing this video on request. Several times we've been asked where to find the right luminaire for a project. Typically, I have a look at LumSearch, our internet-based search engine for luminaires. And beside LumSearch, there are of course about 200 catalogs. And if I still do not find the right product, I have to manipulate one which I already have. In this video, I'm going to show you all of these options. You know that you can get all the luminaires out of your catalogs that you have on the computer and of course of all the online hosted catalogs. Now if you look at this project full of many nice luminaires, get more from other manufacturers like these ones or add further catalogs if you need from the relevant manufacturers homepages. One of the, my preferred ways of inserting the luminaire is of course searching it. Using the Loom Search homepage, I can find sometimes luminaires that I have not thinking about before, as I have a really big choice of different products. In this case, I've already specified that I want to have ceiling recessed luminaire with the narrow beam, returning to me almost 12,000 products. Now, if I break that down to, for example, LED, with a minimum lamp flux of, let's say, for example, 1,000 lumens, but no more than 1,500 because I have designed my project accordingly, then I still have a choice of 1,400, giving me the option to select between several manufacturers offering a suitable fixture. So I can choose also fixtures by picking certain names and products. Closing this, makes it for me possible to choose from these products. Many have an indicator here, DX. So I can insert such a luminaire with one click into my project, it will be transferred within seconds. And I can work with that luminaire as well. I'd like to cover the topic on how to modify a luminaire if necessary. This luminaire would be okay to use, but you want to use that with a slight modification of the color. Then you would just take such a luminaire, like in our case, you would click the luminaire, then on the lamp icon, and depending on the manufacturer, you can probably select another fitting here, which most typically with LED luminaires is not the case, but it might well be that you want to use a different spectrum. So you can use, instead of a 3000 Kelvin spectrum, a 4, 5.5 or 6.8 thousand Kelvin spectrum. Furthermore, you might modify the luminous flux of a luminaire, but be careful. In this place, you might create a product which is different from that that the manufacturer had in mind when he created this LDT or ULD file. Mentioning LDT, this takes me back to the possibility of importing a luminaire file. As you might know and can remember from previous videos, that you can import an IES file since EVO 7 with an IES luminaire import file assistant, allowing you to rotate the light distribution curve by 90 degrees. Of course, it's more attractive working with catalogs or loom search. Working with catalogs, Many manufacturers offer you the opportunity to choose either the online or the offline, which means the installed catalog. Looking at the online version, you're always more up to date, at least in most cases, giving you the choice between the latest products of each and every manufacturer. Let me pick one of those luminaires. I think the first one will do it, and I can transfer it from their internet page, from their online catalog, directly to my project. Now to one other option, which you have with some manufacturers. Some manufacturers offer more than one fitting for their luminaires. It's quite common for road lightings, but also for interior lightings. You can find these in some cases. So this manufacturer offers that luminaire with 4.3 and 3.0 watts, and of course with different luminous flux. So you can choose the right one for your project and can insert it like usual. 